Okay, this is a video comparison between three eight balanced armature sets, and they're all by the same company. This is the uh, Fearless S8F, which is the S8 Freedom. This is the Acme uh, 8, I believe. Uh, it's an 8BA. It's got a different name. It's a different series. And this is the S, the Fearless S8 Pro. So these are three 8BAs all done by the same company. Um, I've got them positioned in the order that I would wreck them. I would wreck them. I would wreck the Fearless over the other two. M my personal taste. Um, second would be the Acme, which I didn't feel that way originally, but I was listening to the Hugo 2 with a filter that I don't usually use, and it did change the sound, and for a set that it leans bass anyway. Uh, that think of the Sony N3AP, and you've got like a bigger version of that with this set in everything even though this is BA and that's dynamic this bass sounds mm, big uh, and the pro is something that would probably be more appropriate for people that are studio there's actually a person on HeadFi that is in the business I believe he's uh, he's constantly monitoring uh, music in a studio uh, that that he does uh, that is performed around and uh, he's a part of he's, he's, he's a musician um, and a music tech, as so far as I can tell, and it appears that he's quite a fan of this set. So I would say that if you're somebody that leans towards technical accuracy without emphasis, forget the graphs, this would be the set that you would probably want to lean to. Personally, looking at the music that you're looking at right now, I'm a person that tends to uh, like mm, dynamics. I want the stuff to be uh, in my face. I'm going to go ahead and give a start to this one actually we're right now in playing uh, Tupac can't see me uh, this is with George Clinton this was a track that was supposed to be on Dr. Dre's album but when they death row took Tupac and bailed him out of jail one of two songs uh, California Love was the other one were taken off of Dre him and Dre never got along uh, part of it was because of this he didn't get along with Snoop because um, uh, m m my mind on my money and my money on my mind that famous line by Snoop Dogg was actually a, something off of Tupac's album that he ditched because he felt like he was being bit off this is a, the history of music man is, is, is almost as interesting as listening to it um, listening to something like Tupac because it's a uh, bass but it's also got a lot of stuff going on in the background because it was mixed with uh, DJ Quick, Johnny J, uh, amongst others, and they 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 were at their apex um, all together in the studio and just really kicking ass. Uh, the bass on the S8F is is good. I don't find it to be lacking, or I I need more. I think it's it's good. The bass on this set um, is uh, kind of ridiculous. They, they've got a lattice, as you can see inside there. I wonder if that'll... If you can see it. That that actually is real. That actually really does work. The bass driver is going through a lattice, which is removing upper frequencies so that all of that BA is doing is actually probably putting out everything below the fundamental, around 330. And this graphs as having a big bass, and it comes down right on the line of the the spectrum where fundamental ends which is 330 this is coming right down in a massive slope um, when I first listened to the set I thought that the, I didn't enjoy the mids that much um, I listened to uh, there's George Clinton right there um, Parliament Funkadelic if you, you guys are music lovers um, this is why I love Music B because as I'm talking, you guys are getting different background stuff. Um, the bass on this is the most impressive BA bass I've ever heard before. Is it the most potent? I I, I don't know. Um, is it the most impressive? It is. It is. That bass driver is being um, filtered in a way that is basically like a Kelton method on steroids where they're just the each reflection is removing certain upper frequencies until the final product that reaches you is the selected amount determined by the length of the lattice which is something I believe the Assure 
SE846 did. Uh, and th this company is just nuts. Absolutely ridiculous as far as their skill level. These guys are really, really good. Um, so there's some George right there too. So on bass, so let's start with the frequency, bass, mids, treble, and then we'll go to stage. On, on bass, this would be the one. It's, it's, it's supposed to be, uh, and it is. It's got uh, impact that is more than the other two. Uh, there's not a lot of difference between these two in the graph, but listening to them, it's very strange because the graphs are, I, I make graphs. I use industry compliant microphone and, and a coupler and these don't look that different. But when I did my review on this set, I said, man, I, you know, I don't know. It just seems to be lacking a certain sense of, which is exactly what a person in a studio, like the person on HeadFi that has this set would want. They wouldn't want any emphasis masking another thing because they're trying to it's their job they're not sitting there just kicking back enjoying and chatting with friends they're they're doing mixing and mastering or playing music so they, they don't want that um if you looked at a graph you'd think these are not that different mm, if you listen to them yes they are so i don't know what's up with the graph but the amount of micro details that this gives back is more whereas this gives mm, a normal playback this is a trippy set because it's a it's an OCD wave um, that these two don't put out. And the, the, this has got a 4.4 custom cable for a reason because I actually use it regularly. These two I don't use regularly, um, which is why I wrecked this set. But for bass, it would be the Acme, without question. Now we move into the mids, and you would think that the bass one because of the elevation in the bass and the transition into the mid frequencies, which is really male vocals begin in the bass region actually and go all the way up. Females pretty close. I believe actually technically in the bass region and go up into the treble. The, the penalty for the, the mids is not what you would think it is. There's a resolution difference between th these two right here. There is a difference between uh, the amount of detail retrieval, whereas this set is continuing its path along uh, a studio set this is this is technically accurate doesn't sound as mm, dynamic as maybe these two this via just its micro detail and this because of its its punch uh, in the bass let me go ahead and go back you know I'm gonna change of view let's get something else here what would be the background for Vivaldi Let's see what they pull up. Um, yeah, that was that's original. It's like the cover of the album for Christ's sakes. Um, the micro details on this set is more than this set, and is more than this set. And in the mid frequency, these all perform very similar. I think if you were judging these on a sense of recess, these would probably be the least of the three that's why somebody who is working in a studio would find this to be most appealing. I am a person that listens to a lot of uh, vocal-centric music with singers right here, as a matter of fact, is a good example. Uh, Bad Finger, Baby Blue U.S. Single Mix, this is really kind of a vocal track. Jun, jun, jun. Two of these guys committed suicide, by the way, because their manager ripped them off. The, these, these, these guys never got rich. Never happened. Uh, sad story, actually. Mm, I don't know which two, but two of the four are, are no longer with us, and it's got a lot to do with their lives were flipped upside down because they got screwed over. Um, so I love my mids. This is a song that's great. Um, a good example of somebody that likes to listen to the lyrics of a song is me. I'm, I'm music for me is uh, that's why I don't get into mumble rap. I don't get into stuff that I can't catch what's going on. Music is stories. That's probably why I turned into a big Tupac fan because it's hip hop and I like the bass hit. But Tupac was telling stories. 
in in a in, he wasn't uh he wasn't a rapper uh an mc spitting like uh biggie smalls N not on that level but as a storyteller he exceeds everybody everybody pales and falls in that dude's shadow um and that's why i was attracted to him so the lyrics of a song are critical to me so if vocals are too far back that's not going to work out is it i mean let's forget about like what, what i'm saying what has good mids what doesn't if it if the mids are back i'm not cool with that i'm not going to negotiate mid frequency presence with anybody i'm i'm not going to recommend a set that doesn't have good mids doesn't make any sense why would i do that um so all three of these perform in the mid frequency where vocals exist whether it's male or oh why don't we no, bear with me for a second here. I loathe to use this as an example because this is such an this is a DSD. It it sounds so good. Um, this is one of the better quality albums that I probably ever heard in my life so judging gear using this is if you're going to be critical and say something it's there's a lot of stuff that's not that good and I wouldn't wreck but this stuff sounds good on it because this is just that good of a there's no really strange uh, instruments that are being played by people with no talent or this wasn't mixed or mastered by people in the studio that are fucking hacks they did a really good job so a lot of gear sounds really good this is female vocals um, Stevie Nicks Christy McVie there's there's a I believe in this track gold dust woman t in the back where it sounds like Stevie Nicks is in the front and then she kind of falls slightly back and Christy McVie is kind of saying stuff in the background the both of their voices appear at a certain point um, so m female vocals and male vocals are something that I need to both be good um, I'm not a death metal person I'm not somebody that's listening to a lot of kick drum and a lot of uh, guitar solos. I, I, I really m migrate more towards the stuff you see in my library. It's, it's Gordon Lightfoot right there. and But there's also the Ghetto Boys. And then there's Grand Funk. And then there's a lot of Grateful Dead. So I'm obviously a person that likes vocals. So the mid-range on all three of these items is good. If you like to listen to vocals, you should be fine. Um, I don't think that's something you need to negotiate in 2019, and, and I don't. So all three of these sets would be good. If there would be any that would seem to be um, slightly dipped, it would be this set, and that would be because relative to the mid-frequency, the bass is so high. So you're going to hear the dominant bass. Is the mids, are the mids there? They are. Are you going to perceive them in the same way that you would with these two sets? Perhaps not. It doesn't matter if it's technically putting it out, your ear's ability to catch it and to get over the, the bass impact. Yeah, these do are these are that bassy. Um that would be person to person. So this would be the set that would have probably the most back mids, but it's again, vocals aren't an issue, actually. It just feels like the bass is quite large. Um and it doesn't seem to have the micro detail retrieval that this set has, but they they don't care with this. As we get to the treble, um, all three of these uh, graph and present themselves. This is slightly more polite, and this is again going towards the whole. This is the set that you would like if you're looking for accurate monitoring. Um, if you're looking for um, a little more, a uh, little more emphasis on hi hats, um, on cymbals. Uh, on the upper part of uh, guitar solos, Randy Rhodes, Eddie Van Halen, um, stuff like that, you'd probably lean more towards this set. Mm, when I think of this set, this actually has a unique kind of a treble, so this would be where the difference is, but this is, people who are sick and death of the fucking Harmon Curve might like this. This has a treble that is lower than the bass so again like the sony n3ap that i was talking about it kind of it's not a dark set but compared to the other fearless line this would be the darkest but that is a comfortable longer listening if you were listening for long periods of time for pure joy there would probably be this set so again it depends on what you want 
accuracy and the non-emphasis it would be the pro like it's supposed to be um I thought that the S6 Pro is better than this, but again, there's a person that is in the business and has this set and is quite pleased with it, last I checked. So I'm going to go with the Pro. Um, and based on him, I, I review these things. It gets into the people who pay money's hands, and then you look at what they do, and then you calculate that. A person that's in the music business said, I really like these. These are really good. Well, fuck, okay, cool. Um, this set would be something that you would use for longer listening. It's got bass emphasis that is higher than the treble. The treble is the part that will get fatiguing for most people um, and make the set um, not something that you can listen to more than, let's say, the sigh of an album. Um, this is intense. It's got a lot of detail, but that's my thing. But I do like tons of vocals, so I like the minutia that's going on behind the music, um, the layers, the Phil Spector wall of sound type stuff I want to hear all of the layers pulled out so that I can hear everything that was mixed in. And it, you listen to something a hundred times, a thousand times, five thousand times, sometimes you hear something you've never noticed before. It happens. Um, I felt like the Fearless S8F did that to me, um, or for me, and uh, I fell in love with them instantly. So in the treble, this would be mm, not bright, but leaning towards that, getting to the point where not the brightness technically of the tuning but just the amount of detail that you're getting back would possibly be fatiguing for people that listen for several hours per day this would be the set for long-term use this would be the set for um, monitoring again pro backed up by one possibly two people that are actually in the business that like it so I'm gonna go with that as far as stage I would say that stage on this, because of stage is a psychoacoustic illusion, because remember you're sticking something in your ear and you're actually blocking everything out. So the sense of space is being created by elevations in the treble. None of these sets have a, like a late big 10K boost or something like the Fidu A3s gave a sense of space. That, that doesn't occur with any of these sets. Um, but if you've listened to something with a harmonic curve, you know that. But you can still get space. As far as the size of the stage, I would say that these two are close. But I would say that this seems to have a bigger stage because it's got that slightly unnatural micro detail retrieval. Like more than normal, which is why I like them the most. Because I want what's everything that's in there and I'll deal with that. Like, like if I want a bass set, I don't care about the mids, I want bass. I said bass, don't worry about my mids, I'm asking for a bass set. So, mm, it's what you're looking for. This is not uh, leaning bright, but it's got a lot of treble mm, detail. And that gives the sense of a, a big stage mm, to me. This would be slightly behind, and this would be, because it's got slightly uh, darker tuning, would be the third one. Um... So on bass, it would be this. On mids, they were all very close. This would be slightly dipped. But again, my, my library, it's vocal. I didn't build this. I built this setup so that you could see it. But my library is my love. It's what I do. It's what I like. This is about the music. In the treble, most polite would be this one because relative to the bass and the mids, this is actually kind of descending with maybe triple peaks. It's an interesting tuning, and I, I kind of like it. That's why it's in my second position. Uh, this is like a Harman, but it's a little bit lower, I believe, uh, than this. And this would be the most fatiguing of the three. But I don't find it that way. But if somebody were, not on anything like the DM6 level, but if I got to say one set is getting close to fatiguing, it would be this set. But it's my favorite. It's got the copper cable. Uh, and then the stage... Whenever you talk about treble, that seems to be mm, a big part of the presentation, then you're going to, stage comes with that. Again, stage is a psychoacoustic illusion. You've got things stuck in your ear. There are no vents on these. There's no, like, breathing apparatuses, no outside sounds coming in, giving the illusion of other alternate sounds like you would if you went to a concert. You don't listen to just the music. There's a crowd around you. There's ambient sounds going on that all create mm, that space because there's things at different distances creating noise you don't get that with either of these three these are creating a sense of space by their tuning by that this would be the biggest stage this would be 
next this would be the smallest but it doesn't feel really constricted it just feels like a warm base dominant set but that's kind of what people want which one would i wreck obviously it's the s8 freedom is my favorite set that, that's come out of china of uh, got 150 how many how many ims have i 150 200 since september something like that number one um like these a lot these are the kind of set that grows on me do i recommend them they cost a thousand dollars that's a tough wreck so i won't go that far but i will say that my original impressions of these of like masking the vocals and those were more due to a filter that i was using than it was to um, anything else and it was quite a departure from what i had been listening to prior this is uh i'm not a studio type person um, I do use the EX-1000s, but I always EQ 55 hertz up by about 3 to 4 dB, so I'm modifying the EX-1000 slightly. So this would be um, third, but if you're in the business and you listen to a long time and you, you, you want technical accuracy because you are monitoring yourself, you're monitoring yourself plus another thing, or you're just doing mastering, it would probably be this set. Forget what the graph says. When I put these in my ear, I was like, this is not... These graphs look very close, but this doesn't sound close. This sounds regular. And I meant that in a bad way when I said it, but that's not a bad word to a person that is in the business. So if you're in that and you're listening for technical accuracy, m not so much music, but maybe monitoring, this would be the set for you, according to people that have purchased it. And I always recommend that you listen to people that have bought items and have items um, and not like flip through them once per month because that's a that's like an addiction and the, those people love and then hate everything eventually so somebody that's got it got it for a while got some other stuff listen to them this is my three comparison this is my favorite still I like these N not my cup of tea um, but that's because of I'm a music listener um, not a monitor so that was 22 minutes holy fuck sorry um this is just dope this is sweet sweet dopeness oh dr dre what are we doing what, what is the first thing they're gonna pull up don't tell me it's an album cover <laughs> dr dre 50 year old dr dre mm. next picture 45 year old doctor okay that's enough we are out